Hi guys, this is Juan again from Bloomer Land Design and in this video, really quickly, I'm going to show you how to do a slider like this one. It's just moving across automatically, I'm not touching anything and you can see that it highlights the button and it moves the image itself. So, let's get into it. Okay, so here I am in action and all I've got to save a little bit of time is I've got a background image, I've got some text, I've got a rounded rectangle and I've got a circle. The background image is the one that is going to be changing, so I need at least three images and I'm going to have three buttons. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a dynamic panel for the background images. So I'm going to go right click and I'm going to go convert to dynamic panel. This is going to allow me to have the three images contained within one particular element. I don't want to call it dynamic panel, so I'm going to click there. I'm going to call this image maybe slider. You can call it whatever you want and the state one is going to be pick 01. Now as mentioned to you before because all the images are the same they're going to have the same kind of attributes, size, positioning. I'm going to duplicate that. This time I'm going to use three images so I'm going to duplicate the state and really quickly I'm going to rename that picture 2 and picture 3. Now I'm going to double click on it because I want to change the picture itself and as you know when you double click one of the stages it takes you inside that particular dynamic panel. I'm going to double click the image and I've already set up these little guys so it's pretty easy, pretty quick. I've got my three images. Once I have my images I'm just going to close that down and I'm going back to home. So let's actually start now to set up the images. So as we remember, I want these images to be moving around when the page loads. So as you can see here, down the bottom, we've got page interactions and page style. I'm going to focus on page interactions and I'm interested in a case called on page load. So I'm going to double click that one. And the first I want to do is I want for the viewer to be able to see the first image. So by default, if I go down the bottom, there's a little miscellaneous option which just says wait. So I'm going to double click there. Oop, I'm just going to click there. And you can set up these to any time you want, which means as soon as the page loads, it's going to show that image for a little bit. I'm just going to probably leave it for two milliseconds and see how we go with that. Then, let's not forget that I'm on page load. What I want to do is I want the dynamic panel to actually move along and automatically, you know, kind of go on and on and on. So we can see the image slider, which is the one that we have created here, which is the one that contains my three images. So I say, yeah, that's the one. And instead of this time selecting a particular state, which is what I did in the previous video, what I'll do is I'm just going to click the drop down menu and click have the option set to next. Then I want wrap from last to first, but that means it's just going to keep looping, which is probably what I really want. So I want to keep that looping, looping, looping. And I want this to repeat every, let's say, depends on how often, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. I'm just going to leave it to two so it's a bit quicker in purpose, for the purpose of this demonstration. And the animate in, as we mentioned before, I'm going to slide to the left for both of them. Show panels if hidden, no necessary, and I don't need to pull any widgets anywhere. So as you can see, I've got wait for two seconds, and after two seconds, just go and show the next one. I'm going to click OK, and let's test it. So Command Shift P, and when the page is load and it's going to test it, I just need to wait a little bit, and there you go. So I haven't done anything, but the image is just you know uh, moving around. This is a very common kind of approach, and you've seen it in many websites. But what about these little guys? How can I make three of them and that they actually change, they change color when they, the image is active? So back in action, here we are. All I need to do is I'm going to create three little buttons here. What they're going to represent is each one represents an image. So I'm going to distribute them horizontally. And I'm going to treat them exactly the same as what I did with the image. So I need to create a dynamic panel. So you control click, then I'm going to convert to dynamic panel. It creates another panel. Just to make sure we know what it is, I'm going to call it button active nav or whatever you want. And I'm going to double click that first state. What I need to do in each state is make sure one of the buttons looks different. 
So that's the highlighted version. I already create uh, some of my default styles, so I'm gonna have that one to be selected. And so that's pretty good. And now I'm just gonna go and duplicate that. So duplicate state and duplicate state. I'm gonna double click every single state. So I can come here, make this one my selected approach. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna have to kind of reset it and come here. Um, give it a fill and then state three same approach come here fill it in and my third option should be I have to come reset and, and select it once you've done that you can just make sure that they're all working fine it's all good I'm gonna go back to home and you can see now I've got this button active so if I want this to move the same as my image probably a good idea is you can check how long how they repeat so every two seconds that's cool so I'm gonna to go to my case double click there and we're gonna add us another kind of action to these case it's exactly the same as my slider so I'm gonna say set panel state this time I'm gonna focus on button active I'm gonna want these guys to all be next wrap right from last to first which is you know it keeps looping repeat every Two seconds so the animations in that one and these one are the same the only thing I don't know the buttons to do I don't want them to animate I just want them to jump from one state to the other and this we can leave them off so I'm going to click OK now we just need to test and we can see after a little bit boom changes and boom changes great and this is how you can do a loader with an image and nobody needs to click anything so hopefully you like this one Pretty easy, huh? Dynamic panels. Awesome to check to actually have a bit of a play. Have an amazing day and talk to you later. Bye.